everything is going wrong. Everything I'm trying to do is failing. This is going to be a bad day, I can already tell. But off we go. Hi, I'm Andy. That's me. About a year ago, I lost my job, and it kind of broke my brain. So I decided to sell my house, pack up the Tesla, and hit the road for a couple of years with my wife, MC. Things have definitely not been easy. But the best things in life rarely are. So we're in Vancouver today. We're at some kind of suspension bridge for now. And we're headed to Half Moon Run concert later. I finished all my work yesterday, so I'm in a good mood, focused, I'm ready, and I want to have an awesome time. So let's have an awesome time. It was a last minute decision because the weather forecast was calling for rain all day. And then we were debating about going to Stanley Park, going to the aquarium, doing a little bit more indoor activities. And then last minute, like literally in two hours before, I suggested we go to the suspension bridge and it was a really great afternoon. There was obviously the bridge that was swaying and rocking like crazy as you're walking across it. Well, you could see all the lighting from the treetop adventure, which mm -hmm. was, you know, walking across even more suspension bridges way up in the air. And that was very, very similar to uh, the Bridge of Dreams that we visited in Quebec. Are you terrified with the cliff walk? <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks terrifying on camera. But honestly, it's really not that bad. It's not shaking like the bridge. No. <laughs> What'd you think? I film you, you film me. <laughs> <laughs> After that, we went to Stanley Park. Yeah. It was yeah. a beautiful fall drive because mm -hmm. of all of the leaves changing and yeah. everything. Okay, uh, we're in Vancouver. Yeah, first time. The maple leaves here are ginormous. Look how big this is. It's literally bigger than my head. For the afternoon <laughs> was Half Moon Run. Yes, that was amazing. That was really great. And then MC even upgraded us <laughs> to a nice private VIP table. The best part was that there was no one around me. <laughs> <laughs> so I felt great. I had my earbuds in that worked amazing. They dimmed the sound. So it was an amazing, 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 amazing day. Yay, I'm so happy. <laughs> and I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better on top of that mentally because the plan that we made, we have put into place. Mm -hmm. And then when I go and do the activities, I can be way more present and enjoy them 
a lot more and it's proving to be true so far. So we're going to keep awesome. that going. Surrey. Crescent Beach. <laughs> Not to actually go swimming. Obviously, it's a little cold for that, but for sightseeing. All right, we just randomly pulled over really quickly because I saw this crazy disco-like car wash <laughs> and I have to go in. So let's go into this car wash. Enjoy the experience. That was pretty cool. The guy was really, really friendly. What is this place? Where are we? <laughs> at some park. We're at Queen Elizabeth Park in Richmond and we're just about to do a little walk about around the Bloedel Conservatory. Cool. Are you a little cold, babe? A little bit. Mostly just my hands, actually. The rest of me is good. Just like all landscape paths, yeah. right? It's it, inside of a quarry. Yeah, neat. What's for dinner? I'm very highly masking right now. Oh. <laughs> Why though? There's nobody here at the Vancouver Fish. Oh, I'm just I'm restaurant. Uh, I'm out of energy, is it? Everything is going wrong. Everything I'm trying to do is failing. This is gonna be a bad day, I can already tell. But we're off to the Olympic Village and have a nice meal at a winery. So what did you think of the Olympic experience? I thought it was really cool. Just seeing all the different Olympic, Olympic uh, flags and the medals and they had interactive displays which were really, really fun. Yes. What yeah, the think? interactive displays were cool. I mean, it's it's smaller, but it was cheap. It was only 15 bucks. It was worth it. Yeah, I think it was worth it. There's a lot of interesting history here. What I like best is the design. It was, it's a very design-heavy exhibit because they have these torches here, they got the medals at the other end, so looking at the design of each year's uh, offerings was really, really fascinating. that sells wine and has food. Time for an update since it's been a while. I should probably have my microphones in, but I'm too lazy to do it, so hopefully you can hear this okay. I'm doing better. I'm not out of the woods yet, 
but I'm definitely doing better. Having the work days locked down has really, really made a big difference. But I worry that there will be days where I'm too taxed to actually do any work and then I create a backlog and everything kind of goes downhill from there. But so far, everything has been going well. We have a whole bunch of activities planned now for the next two days. And unfortunately, the thing I'm most excited for is the Monine concert, and it's all the way at the end of those two days. So I'm a little worried that I'm going to burn myself out before I get to my favorite activity. As long as things continue to go well, I should be fine. Stay tuned.